The scene begins with Roman and his fiance Lisa, out on a vacation at a beach resort where they spend a romantic time together. We fast forward to when Roman with his brother Albert and his friends are on a hiking trip in the forest of a national park. It is Roman's bachelor party where they spend his remaining days as a free man together before he finally ties the knot with Lisa. On a rafting adventure, the five friends take a quick swim at the river and enjoy their time with nature. The boys then gather around to briefly rest. Suddenly, they hear a distant gunshot from somewhere in the forest, which they assume is because of hunting season. Unbeknownst to them, a mysterious figure watches over them from afar. Stefan, a woodsman, prepared a surprise destination for Roman to a tower in the forest which Stefan and his father usually goes to visit. When they reach the tower, they take in the breathtaking view overlooking the entire forest, which is very refreshing to see. Roman greatly appreciates the view and Stefan's effort to show the place, except for Vincent, who apparently has a fear of heights. Along their way, Albert sees a unicorn stuffed toy at a tree and takes it as a souvenir. After some time, Vincent feels nauseous from the steep path down from the tower. With this fear of heights bothering him, he suddenly slips down and almost falls to the tunnel. Luckily, Roman helps him back up. Continuing on their trail, Albert and Roman can't help but talk about the job opportunity that Albert promised to Roman, which currently does not look as feasible as promised. Upon arriving near their car, they hear another gunshot not too far from where they are. Suddenly, Vincent feels a sting of pain on his arm and sees that he's shot. The boys panic seeing their injured friend. Thus, they rush to the car to give him first aid. Then, another gunshot aims at them, but this time it shoots the tires. The situation makes them desperate as Stefan assumes that whoever is targeting them is not a hunter mistaking them for a prey. The boys panic as they try to get out of the situation safely by making a plan to ride with the flat tire. But they soon realize that the mysterious shooter is seriously up to no good as two more shots are fired at them, breaking the windows of the car. Stefan suggests that they head to the forest to hopefully lose the mysterious shooter from their trail. The boys immediately run to the forest, but Albert's phone drops on the way. Albert urges Roman to get his phone as it's very important, which Roman did and is almost shot at getting it. When the boys safely distance themselves to hide in the forest, Roman curiously notices a kid's bracelet lying on a rock. With limited resources on hand, Stefan leads the group southwest to a highway which they saw from the tower. As they are leaving, Albert's foot gets stuck on the ground. Upon removing his foot with the help of his friends, he notices that it's scraped. Along the way, Roman gets flashbacks of memories with his fiancée, Lisa, reminiscing about a vacation with her. When they cross a shallow river, Peter loses his cool when he slips on the rocks. Trying to find their way to the highway, a helicopter passes by, which causes Vincent to desperately call out for help, but fails. Vincent is disheartened by their situation and is on the verge of giving up, but Roman begs him to continue with them. Near the river, they see a woman and ask for help, but they regret it the moment they realize that she is the mysterious shooter. The woman, without hesitation, shoots Stefan in the head, instantly killing him, and the boys run for their lives away from the scene. They quickly hide behind a shallow trench and are in utter disbelief for what happened to Stefan. Their supposed fun bachelor escapade abruptly turns into a hiking nightmare, with their friend dead and the remaining of them lost in the forest with a deadly shooter on their trail. Peter rushes them to leave the place immediately, but the pain becomes unbearable for Albert as he checks his foot, which seems to be in a very bad condition. Peter, out of frustration, suggests that they separate from each other as he thinks that the condition of Albert will endanger them as a group. The boys don't agree with the idea and stick with the initial plan to stay together. As they walk further into the forest, they see a road and follow it, which eventually leads to a hut. Inside, they meet a staff member and ask for help to call the police, but the signal in the area is unstable. While Albert keeps trying to contact the police through the landline, Roman converses with the staff about a woman who lives in the area, but she doesn't seem to know and only speaks about incidents of foreign hikers. Suddenly, when Albert finally gets a response from the police, the staff is shot and killed on the spot. They get down to avoid getting shot as multiple gunshots are directed at them. Unfortunately, Vincent lies helplessly on the floor, bleeding and is trying to reach out to Roman, but is soon killed by a bullet. This angers Roman 
and causes him to outburst. Thus, he throws glass jars at the door the moment he hears her nearby. They quickly make a run for the back door and head back to the forest on the road. After successfully escaping the woman from the hut, unexpectedly, they see her on the other side of the road, walking in the same direction as them. They quietly walk to the opposite direction, but the woman sees them and shoots at them. In close range, they try to negotiate with the woman and she hesitantly lets them go. The boys escape from her, but she always seems to be ahead closer to them. Roman then distracts her by throwing a stick in a different direction to create a distant noise, which she follows. Deeper into the forest, the boys enter an area that appears to be an abandoned hotel and park. Eventually, the boys get into a conflict because of Peter's attitude, which he later diverts to Albert's burdensome condition. Albert and Peter get into a physical fight and insult each other, which leads to him separating from them and slipping a hint about Lisa and Albert. Roman is clearly upset and Albert tries to convince him that it's nothing. Roman then leaves Albert and explores a cabin nearby. Just outside the cabin, he sees a falcon in a cage and an altar with the name of a child called Anne. He then decides to look inside the cabin and discovers a video of the woman's past where her child was accidentally killed by men in the forest. He looks further in the room and sees a picture of the child, presumably Anne. Suddenly, they hear a distant gunshot. Albert then sees Roman on the way, which confirms that Peter is the one shot. Peter begs for his life as two of his legs are shot by the woman. He is then slowly showered by multiple shots, fatally injuring him. As a last resort, Peter tries to bargain for his life with his money, but the woman is unmoved by the offer and shoots him dead. Albert and Roman see their dead friend and try to escape the scene, but unfortunately, Albert is shot in the chest. Roman immediately helps him and they distance themselves from the woman to hide. Once out of sight, they take a brief rest and when Albert falls asleep, Roman takes his phone to get a signal to call for help. Intrigued by what Peter earlier said, Roman meddles with Albert's phone and finds the shocking affair of his fiance and his brother. Roman is apparently very shocked by the revelation and reminisces back to the time when they were on a vacation with the surprise visit from Albert. Moments later, Albert awakes from his nap and sees Roman very upset with his phone. Albert knows he's caught. Thus, he explains that the affair is by accident, which is an unbelievable statement. But despite the betrayal, Roman doesn't leave him behind. Roman knocks off Albert unconscious and drags him behind a huge rock to hide him. Eventually, Roman sees the woman near their location and decides to take the unicorn stuffed toy from Albert. He follows her trail from a distance and faces a dark tunnel. He hesitantly enters it and finds bodies of her victims, including Peter. He climbs up out of the tunnel and sees the woman at the edge of the cliff. As Roman quietly walks up to her from behind, he accidentally steps on wood, which causes the woman to shoot his leg. To distract her, Roman talks to her about her child and gives back her toy. This momentarily distracts the woman and Roman takes the chance to kick her rifle from her hand. They fight against each other, trying to get the rifle first. The woman almost overpowers Roman, but eventually he gets the upper hand. When he finally gets the rifle, he does the bravest thing at the moment, which is to throw the weapon away. His action moves the woman, which causes her to voluntarily end it. It was unanticipated seeing her very aggressive with the intention to kill them, but if it's the only way to stop her demons, then so be it. Roman seems exhausted from the encounter and slumps near the edge. He then closes his eyes on the assurance that finally they are safe. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlists on the screen. Thanks for watching.